Hey guys, I'm gonna do a Battle Royale manga review. Something quick. I don't feel like spending five minutes talking about it. Most people know what it what it is and how awesome it is. So yeah, they uh, first it was a novel, then it was turned into a movie, then a manga, and a second movie was produced, which there was no second novel. There was a second manga, which is only two volumes long, but it's by a dif different artist. Let's go over this one. Um, Alright, so it starts out with uh, 42 freshmen, I should say ninth graders, in a Japanese school. Freshmen are 10th graders, but because um, it goes 10, 11, 12 for high school. But yeah, so it's about 42 ninth graders who go to, who are sent to an island to fight to the death, something called the program. It's about the future of Japan and how corrupt they are, and I don't know. Shit goes crazy, because, I mean, every year, 42 freshmen have to kill each other off until there's one left. It's a pretty epic series. I mean, the manga the manga is good. It's a lot better than the movie, because it goes in the background of e each character. I saw the movie first, and then I read the manga. But, um, the artwork is different from a regular manga. I mean, it doesn't have the big eyes... All the same faces with different haircuts. No, not in this. He actually, the, the artist actually gives them facial detail. And I don't know, just like the artist of Vagabond. He gives each character, you know, a face. Not just eyes and a ha different hairstyle, like in every other manga. I mean, I'll show you, I'm going to show you a what the fuck moment in this. Because, I mean, it is an awesome series. And look at it, uh, I just... Each character has different, um, yeah, like different faces. But, yeah, getting on to the part where there's a really big what-the-fuck moment in this, because, all right, so this bitch has a uh, submachine gun. I think it's, I forgot what style, Tech-9? I don't know, it's just a submachine gun. And um, it should only hold around 20, 30 rounds. So look at all the look at all the bullets. She just, I mean, right there I count and there's about at least 20 flying out for the shells. That thing should be out of ammo, but it's not. Not only is it still firing more rounds, it fires more. Ready? Who's the next one? All right. So she just wasted about all of her rounds and she doesn't change the magazine. So what happens next? She blasts another person. Another 20 fucking rounds come out into this chick. It's so violent, but great. But, I mean, seriously, how many rounds did they give this bitch in one magazine? A magazine could only hold 30 rounds the most. Especially that one. But nope, she's still firing. Look at this. We're down at least 100 rounds. Fucking, it's like, Jesus Christ, how many rounds... That's what I didn't like, how unrealistic it was. I mean, it's a great series, but... Yeah. But my camera is dying, so I better end this video quick. Yeah, check it out. It's definitely gory and amazing. It's got a good ending, too. Check the movie out first, and then read the manga. I suggest that. Alright, see you guys.